Hey guys, Gecko Guy here coming at you with a review of the GoVision HD sunglasses that records in full 1080p resolution. So this came from hsn.com for the right price of $99.99 and I decided to pay by phone or pay over the phone and get them this way. So this is going to be, I'm hoping, really um, neat and cool and will come in handy for when I fly my quadcopters and my planes. So I'm really hoping for something a lot like that and also I can see this appealing to motorcycle guys so why don't I give you guys a little look here so go vision it's really a simple box we have a made in China lo uh, little thing there and that already kinda scares me alright but it's very simple packaging nothing else in the box put that aside and then Sorry about that, I was having a problem focusing. Got yourself a nice little case here. It's got a little bit of a lanyard here. The lanyard feels pretty pretty cheap. At least I can fit my giant hands in there. Alright. It's uh textured. Don't really know what to call that. But anyway. Um yeah. But um, as soon as I first did this, hey, look, look at that, look at that, hundred dollars, and you get a case that does that. I hate it when zippers are broken like that. I got to get myself a pair of pliers to kind of crimp that down. But anyway, let's take a look at what you get in here. Got yourself a little cleaning cloth. All right, cool. Oh, cool. Uh, and you get, looks like, it, it's going to be very hard to tell, but you get clear lenses, so I'm wondering if you can swap that out. Got yourself a little power USB cable. Um, get yourself a little bent up manual for when it was inside. This would have been nicer to see in the actual box itself. Now, let's see. Is it like a quick start, or is it like a full manual? Looks like to be just a quick start. Alright, now why don't I get the actual glasses themselves out? Oop, and I just dropped it on the floor. Ha <laughs> ha! Funny. Alright, so. Pretty thick. Some buttons up here. Alright. Now. Got a little. I'm wondering if that's for the charge. Is that for the charge cable? Looks like it. Or is it backwards here? Oh, okay, well, I have that turned on, I guess. All right, that's the sunglasses. Then, uh, oh, got a little thing covering the lens there and that's where it records off of right off in the front and I'll put these on in a second and do a little quick test shot of what it looks like on my derpy self I'm trying to figure out where the SD card slot is this is my first time looking at this looking at it over so I will come back in a second alright so we're back I took a little bit of time to fiddle around with it but anyway guys yes this is definitely for charging right here I'll show you this. Um, hopefully, with my poor eye vision. There we go. And then you just plug it into a USB device and you can charge it from a laptop. If you've got one of those wall outlets, you can definitely do that as well. Also, guys, um, you just pull on this a little bit. And you'll expose the SD card slot. And it, the one that HSN gave me, um, came with an 8 gigabyte card. However, I probably won't use it very much, or I'll use it once or twice for review purposes. But I like to use SanDisk Ultra SD HC cards, these uh, Class 10. These are really cheap off of Amazon. A 64 gigabyte card should run you about 20 bucks, and 64 gigs is way more than what they give you here. But anyway, guys, um, why don't I do another little cut shot, and I'll show you what these look like when they're on a person. All right, so this is what they look like when you're on a, when they're on a person. Um, these are polarized. I can definitely tell 
Um, these they even says that it's polarized, so it's I think it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty nice. Uh, here's a side view for you. Hopefully, I'm still in frame. Okay, you got your buttons, and it covers the eyes very well. Okay, it doesn't move much. Um, I can kind of bet that you know if you're doing a lot of running or something, it might. But um, I can see this appealing to motorcycle guys. This would probably be pretty good. Wouldn't have to really worry about it coming off. But anyway, guys, uh, why don't we go out and do a little bit of testing for this review. And I will see you in a little bit. And actually, I might make this my uh, pair for when I go driving around. So I will see you in a little bit. We're going to get the 8 gigabyte card in there as well as the other 32 and 64 gigabyte cards. And uh, do a couple of different tests here. Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Gecko Guy here. So, we're going to take a little bit of a drive here in my car with the new GoVision. Alright, and this is using the stock 8 gigabyte card and holy crap, it is hot in my car. It is hot outside. It's like 60 something degrees. So, this is what it sounds like with the stock audio and the stock S, uh, 8 gigabyte SD card. Okay, <clears throat> look left, right. No traffic, good. All right, and I just did 50 in my neighborhood. All right, so, turning. So that is what it sounds like. Um, and the kind of car I'm driving right now is a 1999 Mitsubishi Mirage. In case you are wondering, with 95,239 miles, why don't we roll down my window a little bit and we'll let you hear what the wind noise sounds like. Okay, so there's that. It is incredibly hot in my car, so this is why I'm kind of rolling down the window. But, believe it or not, Gecko Guy does not wear sunglasses ever, no matter if it's in the middle of winter or if it's the middle of summer. I just do not like the feel of sunglasses. I don't know why, but just don't like it. <clears throat> so, in order to start uh, the recording, and I'm just gonna turn my air on, if that's all right with you guys. Hopefully it shouldn't be making too much noise. Speed limit 35 miles per hour, we're doing 38, that's okay. Um, so, <clears throat> In order to start it, it does have an auto start record function and it records in 10 minute segments and it'll do loop recording. So that I do like. That right there, I love when little micro camcorders, cameras do loop recording. It, it is really helpful um, because once you fill up your card, um, you can't, if, if you have a camera like let's say the GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition like I have, um, it does not do loop recording, I don't believe. So as soon as you fill up your card, like let's say you're doing something really cool and action-y, um, it will not loop over the oldest segment. And um, honestly, I do like loop recording because um, I, I don't have to worry about deleting my other files and I, I can continue on doing my cool action videos and not have to worry about too much space. Come on, lady. All right, so turning there, yeah, of course there has to be construction. Hate this, um, but anyway, they do feel pretty nice. I do not have a lot of sun glare, and they are polarized, which is very cool. Um, and also, you can pop out the lenses, so I think that's plenty good for a drive right now. Um, just looking around. So I will stop the recording. Alright guys, here's going to be the final wrap up of the GoVision sunglasses. Um, I really liked the footage at first what I was getting and um, the ease of use. It was basically just two buttons, press it on and then it would automatically start recording. And then you just have to press one button to stop recording. I liked the loop recording feature it had. You have clear lenses that you could have used. Um, it's just a shame that there's such bad quality control issues like here's the record, nothing. Here's the power, nothing. So it's just stuck on this red LED and I tried everything. I tried looking at it, tried looking at the LiPo, just would not go. It just 
stopped working like some of the other reviewers said um, one thing I will say it is very annoying to try to get this uh, SD card out you have to have really sharp nails or get like a pen or a toothpick or something to get that out um, other than that they feel pretty comfortable the video quality was very great like I was very happy with that as well as the audio um, seeing as it had a very small mic right there um, it's just a shame that there's quality control issues otherwise I would recommend it but seeing as there is so many reviewers out there who just couldn't get it to work either or it would work for like a little bit I'm gonna have to steer you away from buying one of these I'm really sorry but that's just how it's gotta be um, anyway you won't see these anymore I'm sending these back like I said I tried giving it all of my effort tried getting it to work and just wouldn't I was impressed with the um, the video that I did manage to get off of it but in the end I just I'm not happy with them either so thanks for watching comment like and subscribe